Hello, welcome back to another pen talk. Today we have a special pen to review, to reveal. This is a pen revealing episode. Never thought I'd ever say that. So those familiar with a uh, certain uh, seller may recognize the tape that's used. Those that follow him on Facebook may recognize this little sticker, which is a new sticker. But it came, yeah, U.S. Postal Service, and the tracking number I entered into my uh, USPS account, and I got full tracking on it, which was very nice. So let's uh, take an appropriate instrument, and let's open up this package. I'm not good at using a knife over the camera, so we're not going to do that. So as we open it up, we'll see the traditional styrofoam packing material and a very recognizable box another made in china sticker but what we find nice is taste the rainbow pen bbs fan page 456 limited edition and as we uh, look through the popcorn no cat sticker so those that are on uh, taste the rainbow which is a facebook page I think it's been almost a year that this was first started to discuss a lot of uh, questions back and forth as to what the fans wanted, and this is what we ended up with. So we'll open it up. We'll see four, five, six instructions. I think it's the first time I've seen four, five, six instructions. And as usual, it's in Chinese and English. And it's very thorough, very detailed, and a step-by-step -step instructions. But we're familiar with the 456, so there's no need to do that. It's in its uh, traditional plastic sleeve. We open it up and we'll see what I think is a phenomenal resin. Uh, something I'm not familiar with. You know, the red streaks and black streaks are a new combination. As with all four, five, sixes, it feels great in the hand the minute you pick it up. I think the weight is perfect. We'll peruse the pen and we'll see some interesting, unique engraving. So this is really going to become, a, I think, a collector's pen. It's a not really a, it is kind of a first for pen BBS. They've made limited editions before. The 492 was one of them. And a lot of their resins you can consider to be limited editions. The cap comes off in a very short number of turns. We're going to have to get more detail. And then we have uh, the other thing that was uh, discussed is what engraving to put on the nib. And we'll see what I think is a phoenix. But overall, I'm very, very happy. And the price was a typical price for a 456 as soon as they started coming out and then COVID-19 had a big impact on their production, probably lost maybe four or five months. But the, work, the weight was worth it, as one might say. So I'm going to do my usual clean out. And then we're going to ink it up. And I'm pretty certain I know what ink I'm going to put in here. What ink do you think it'll be? So the ink to put in. Well, to me, this was the choice. Black Swan in English Rose. And my description of this ink is a black red ink. Shading ink for the flex nib. Not necessarily the nib in this pen, but I think the ink will work well. Here's my color card. And it is red. And it appears that the the black has a little bit of permanence to it, which is a uh, typical of a fair number of water, uh, a fair number of Noodler's inks. And the chromatography also shows that there's a little bit of black here at the bottom, and then as the red pushes up, we'll see streaks of black in there. So to match the pen exactly, I think I found the perfect ink. So we have the pen inked up. And I didn't flush the nib in section. I didn't want to take the pen apart at all. 
and I wanted to use the pen like most of you will use it. So the cap comes off in less than one turn, which I think is a first for pen BBS. So as a vac filler, you unscrew the blind cap, and I have it unscrewed now because I want the ink flow there. You pull up, put the nib in ink, push down, and it pulls up a little bit over half the distance. And I did that twice because I'm using ink to, to flush the, the feed. And writing with it, I think it works very, very well. I only have sunlight coming in. I just wanted to, to show the, the pen under a different light and also to show it with ink in the barrel. You can see that ink level is right about there. I think we need to bring the LED in. There's no pearlescence or chatoyancy. That's just a, a nice red with some black streaks in it. And it's consistent throughout the pen, which is, I think, one of the traits of pen BBS. The section, the finials, they're all made out of the same material as the cap and barrel. Great addition to my pen BBS collection. For those who follow my channel, you know that I think the 456 ergonomically is the best pen outside of the 323. But I actually like the 456 better because of the added weight for all the metal components. This pen is extremely well made, very reliable, very durable. It's the best vac filler that I've used, and I've used a few of them. That section is right about a perfect size for me. We'll give you the dimensions of the section. We'll give you the weight of the pen. And unlike a lot of other pen BBS models, it does post deeply, it does post securely, and the balance is pretty much spot on, either posted or unposted, which is to me rare in, in many pens, and probably one of the last attributes of it even is considered when they design the pen. But since we're going to be writing over the camera, we will be writing unposted. I have a number of these uh, medium nibs from Pen BBS, and I chose the medium because I like it over the fine. I just think it is a more consistent writer. It it's very stiff. There is a little bit of line variation, so the horizontal can be th thinner, and the vertical can be thicker. Doesn't really show up that much in the writing. One thing that I'm very happy about is Pen BBS is spelled the way that I think it should be spelled with P, lowercase e, lowercase n, and then BBS in caps. Some people do it all caps, some people do it other ways, but that's my way. I've been doing it for a while now, and I'm very happy to see it incorporated into the model of this pen. People talk about pens having a long name, and I think this one might take the cake for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words in the name of the pen. So do I like the pen? Absolutely. Is it going to keep me happy and give me hours of pleasure and encourage me to write? And yes, it will. So let's rate this pen. And I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to give it a 10.0. And it's going to get three checks because it is what it is. It gets a check for the nib, a check for the design and the build, a check for the vac filler. So 
that's how it goes. And would I have rated it a 10 if it wasn't a limited edition? Eh, probably not. And am I trying to make all those lucky owners of this pen very happy? Yes, I am. So Pen BBS has done something unique again. They've done it very, very well. It took a while. We all were patient. At least most of us were. And as usual, Bienni handled it very professionally. As soon as the pen was available, I got an invoice, I paid it, it shipped, and it arrived. And it came relatively quickly, which I was also very happy about. And I had tracking through the U.S. Postal Service, which is also an interesting approach. So may you find a wonderful pen to write with. We're going to thank you for watching this video. And you notice that pen starts up right away, and throughout this entire review, it's written consistently well. And I did the writing part twice, because this first one, I didn't turn on the microphone. And it is, I'd say, on the wet side, and I think this uh, ink works extremely well in this pen. I wish you all can stay safe and healthy and, and be happy and enjoy all the aspects of your life. Just gaze at this another time. I'm not going to stop enjoying reviewing and looking at this pen. And the silver trim, I think, works very, very well with the colors. This is the end of this video. I pushed this one out real quickly. I got the pen an hour ago. And yes, it's not what much writing, but it wrote exactly as I expected it to. And that, to me, is something that I'm very familiar with with these pens. We're going to say bye for now. Until the next video, nice ink and pen combo.